Right, good morning everybody. Um, I hope you can see at least something here. Um, we're down at a little spot um, called uh, Petrol Cove. Uh, petrol as in the bird rather than the uh, commodity. Oh. Um, you can see that I'm perched up uh, quite high here, taking my time very carefully uh, setting up. Just going to step up on here. Uh, this is a this is a beautiful part of the coast. First shot of the day, high up here on the rocks, very jagged rocks here, Petrol Cove, almost, um, I would say, Jurassic, uh, very primeval, primordial, if that's probably the better word, um, black, solid, very dramatic looking rocks. Um, we're looking out towards the sunrise here over on the east. Um, it's a very pretty morning as ever. Every morning's pretty, I think. Okay, now with camera in hand, being very careful. Are they slippy? Yes, they are a little touch. Wearing wellies came in handy then. Rafi wasn't too impressed. Uh, this first shot, I'm just taking and framing this large rock on the left. going to centralize this somewhat. Catch that water ebbing and flowing between these rocks. It's rather nice. It would have been great if we had some color in the sky, uh, but that's not to be. I'm just going to tip this further down, exaggerate the foreground, minimise that sky, um, it's just a blue blob, uh, although there's nice, nice colour gradient, sort of a, a yellowy haze on the uh, horizon just behind that bank of cloud that snuffed out all that light and then it goes up to a lovely uh, baby blue. So, uh, so this looks like a larger wave coming in. That's rather nice.
as I said, all we needed was a touch of, of colour, and that really would have done us in that sky, but never mind. Never mind. All good. It's not been too fruitful today, but that happens. <laughs> and Rafi, what are you telling me? What are you telling me? What are you telling me? Where's your ball? Where's your ball? Go get your ball. Gosh, don't shout at me. Don't shout at me. Where's your ball? Where's your ball? Go get your ball. Go get your ball. I don't know where it is. That sun is making its way. It's making its way across. But it's not here quite yet. So... I want a, a largish wave to give me some white. And this might be it. In this bottom left hand corner. And that's exactly what I've got. Just, just angling down here and seeing, you know, what the water's doing. I've been here for about 10 minutes watching, um, rather than just rushing straight down here. Well, one or two seconds should do us to catch this white water at the moment. It's about a fifth of a second, so um, I'm going to pop it up to it's at a F14. I'm going to pop it up to F16. That's about still about a fifth to a quarter of a second. So we will need to adjust it to get some of that movement in. I'm using the polarizer um, to catch some of the blue in the sky and also hopefully give us some contrast in this white the white surf against the dark rocks so that's the that's the plan I've just got to watch out for the surf and make sure that we don't get any spotting. So I'll just do a quick test shot for one second and see how that works out in terms of the exposure. It's still slightly too high. Um, I'm still getting some blinky so I'm going to put a second ND on which will really darken the sky so that's a, a 0.9 and a 1.2 so it's about seven stops in total of light and we'll just see how we go with with that one and a half seconds and that's pretty I think I'll just knock it into manual because I really want it to be about a second so I'll, I'll manually set the exposure I'm going to wait for a big wave coming in 
Here comes one, I believe. So I'm, I'm quite happy with that. I'm now going to set this as a landscape. Get a couple of landscapes shots. And as ever, if you rotate your camera, make sure that you then adjust your filters and just recheck your composition. Just recheck it. I'm just going to refocus again about a third of the way through. And I can feel that spray, so I know it's there. Well, not as much this time, but I can feel it on my face. So we'll take a couple of shots again. This is at 1.3 seconds, ISO 160, F18, and then I'm gonna raise it up to 320, keep it at 1.3 seconds, um, so that that water flow, that water flow is consistent um, between the shots. I'll raise the ISO up to 320, give that a go, and as I said, that's for the shadows. And any water movement will match, perfectly match the previous one. Okay, so yeah, um, you'll see that I've moved back. I've moved back a pace. Um, I was considering doing a panorama image, but um, I think I can capture this in a single shot. We're waiting for one more nice wave to come in to fill this central void uh, with some nice white water. This looks like a, a, a nice large, uh, well they all look nice and large these waves as they come pounding in. Big wave to come in. See if we can capture a sun star in that right hand corner. I want one almighty wave to come through now. Just one will do. One.
to to capture the right water. Before you run out, and you regularly run out of charge on me, uh, not your fault, but it, that's just what happens. I want to thank you all for coming to see me here at uh, join me here at Petrol Cove. I'm going to get back on, but you know, whatever you ask, please stay safe, and you know, I will see you soon. I'm going to jump on this if it's any good. Well, you'd have already seen it, so thank you, and uh, take care. But I need to get the camera out and move quickly.